all right so good morning everyone so this is a recorded video with regards to the continuation of the topic probability so before that let us bow our head and feel the presence of our lord in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen lord we offer you everything we do today all our works our joys and our sorrows everything will be an act of love for you holy mary saint joseph saint joaquin and saint anne and guardian angel intercede for me so that i may be served to be helped and safe today and always for handel pillar pray for us in the name of the father the son the holy spirit amen all right so as we continue the uh, topic probability no there is one more thing we need to understand and uh to know with regards to probability and what would be that thing no so in our probability as we recall uh we have the formula of a certain uh events no events and a certain uh sample space no so when we say probability it's all about chances no and we have these two types of uh probability which are theoretical probability and the experimental probability so in experiment uh experimental probability there is what we call as an outcomes okay and when we say theoretical no uh it is based on the assumption that we are uh thinking of at, in the present place no so at the first uh, part of the probability we were able to know how to find no how to find and how to compute a probability of a certain um uh, set no or a certain event now what if no let's let's deal with some examples already so what if we have our cards yeah and so our cards we have this what we call as suits no so we have four suits we have spade clubs diamonds hearts or sometimes this is what we call as flowers or clubs flowers all right so in this uh playing cards no we have 52 numbers of cards no and we have two black cards uh two suits in black cards and two red suits no in in the group of red cards now in each suits it contains 13 cards and we know the, that 13 cards are starting from the ace up to number 10 no so we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and uh, also the ace okay and these are what we called as number cards no number cards starting from 1 to 10 so aside from number cards we also have what we called as face card face cards are the joker queen and king pot no so they contains they contain faces in the card correct so therefore in total they are 13 cards no so in a suit there are 13 cards so in total so we have su four suits so in total uh we, in having 13 cards in one suit times four we have 52 okay so in this kind of uh set po, uh we are going to try to find the probability of something uh with regards to playing cards so let's try ha huh? so if i will be telling you no know, how many you no know, how many diamond cards are there in 52 cards there are 13 diamonds correct there are 13 diamond cards in 52 cards correct so what if i ask you what would be the probability of getting red cards in all the cards or what is the probability of getting all red cards in a deck yeah oh how many red cards do we have we have 26 no because we have 13 for the diamond 13 for the heart knowing that there are only two suits that are red cards correct so there are 26 what 26 cards out of 52 and the probability of 
uh, the probability of that 26 over ah the probability of getting red cards no out of in one deck no so when we have 26 over uh 26 over 52 cards po that is our final answer but please take note is that uh possible to be shifted into lowest term or into simplest form there is because we know that the simplest form of this one is one half right so there are two two sets no of 26 in 52 knowing that all red cards are the 50 percent of uh one deck so therefore the probability of getting all red cards in a deck no is one half or 50 percent chance po. okay so that is the first example so what if what if no what if what is the probability of getting king what's the probability of getting king in a deck or oh, what is king so so we know that in each suit no there is one king so how many king do you have in total so we have four pieces of king correct so four pieces of king out of 52 because we are referring to deck if we say deck all of the cards correct so in that uh, fraction no, we know that is not the final answer yet because we know that could be shifted still no or it could be uh turn into lowest term still no into simplest form and we know that the simplest form is 1 over 13 correct or if we're going to get in uh if we're going to get the percentage of that one that will be 7.7 percent okay or 7.69 percent okay all right so maybe you could try uh, using your calculator while we are having the function for okay so another example what if no? what is the probability of getting what is the probability of getting even numbers in a deck uh, again what is the probability of getting even numbers in a deck okay how many even numbers do we have in all over 52 uh, even numbers again what do we have in one suit we have the number cards and the face cards correct all right so uh, uh we know that from uh 1 to 10 there are five even numbers correct so therefore we know that in one suit there are five cards or five even numbers and we have four suits so therefore there is 20 even number cards in a deck we know it's a deck so it is 52 so we have 20 over 52 and that could be still simplified what's the simplest form that is 5 over 13 or in decimal uh, uh decimal number or in percentage form no that is 38.46 or 38.5 percent okay po 38.46 percent uh please take note that if you are going to put the final answer at least two decimal places po, all right okay so that's how we deal in cards no if getting the probability now uh as we recall the formulas these are the formulas that i have uh, showed you know with regards to uh probability uh, from the highlighted one this is the probability of an event is equals to the number of events all over the number of sample space no so probably you could see the other formulas in the internet no? but Please remember this formula, which is the highlighted one. All right. So, um, aside from the numbers, because we are we used to deal in probability in terms of physical examples, like for example, the dice, 
the coin, the cards, correct? So let us let us visualize what is happening, no? When we are going to get the probability of such sample space in a figure. So what is this figure? Let's let's deal probability in Venn diagram, pa, all right? So from a Venn diagram, I have here an example, no? A sample space of six, or this is the sample space of a die, all right? So we could have the event of one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, these are the outcomes that you might get. Alright, so this is our sample space. Okay, so uh, before we, uh, before I discuss these things, now I want you to remember of two things. Okay, two things. And those are the terms union and intersection. Okay, po. So probably you encountered you encountered this topic already no? way back in your grade seven I guess or grade eight no? so please remember this word union and intersection and uh if you will remember the one that I have mentioned the words end and the words or if we have the word end this is what we have again if we have and this is the sign of the end if we have or we have the sign of or correct so these signs are basically you, you could found this one and uh, this is commonly used in logic subject no uh, but i would like you to relate this logical signs no uh, into these figures of in terms of Venn diagram. No? So when we say union from the first letter, it is U. Okay po. It is interrelated from the word or. So as you will notice, the word or the tri uh the victory, it's like victory no uh this is facing no it is opening upwards. So same goes by with the union no same goes by with the union it is face or it is opening upwards union so when we say union okay po the symbol of union is u okay po or smiling face okay po smiling face and for example a, a, a sample set no of a union b or we could uh, read this one as a or b okay po a or B. Okay, po, gets? Alright, so, uh, next one is, this is what we call as intersection. What would be the uh, symbol of intersection? So, when you saw an intersection, the symbol of that one would be an inverted U, or a uh, sad face, or sad smile. Po, okay, so it is inverted U, which is opening downwards, and if you will relate that one, to your end no the symbol is also facing downwards for it and that is our intersection part. okay so that is the two terms that i want you to remember and please don't forget about that one all right so okay so let's deal with this example already so i have here this six no six sample space the sample sp space of six and we have this three set the letter A, letter B, and letter C. Alright, so in letter A, we have this a set of uh, the elements of 2, 5, and 6. Okay, Alright, so this is for let set A. Okay, po. So if you will notice in set A, we have the numbers 2, 5, and 6. Alright. So, how about for letter B? This is the set B. The set B contains the elements of 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so if you will notice in the Venn diagram, it has 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So uh, whatever you see here, uh, this is just temporarily, you know, so that you could see the separation of all things first. Okay. So if we have the sets already, you know, when you, uh, when I give you this kind of given. What would be the intersection of the two sets? Or A, intersection B. 
So this is the only thing that you want to remember. Okay, I want you to remember this one. When we say union, from the word union, what is union? Union is a combination of two sample sets. Okay, po again, union is the combination of two or more, no, more sample sets. From the word union, from the word union, we could think about unity or unite. Correct. So you are combining uh, things uh, in order for you to count it as one. Correct. So that is for the union. How about for the intersection? So from the word intersection, we had this uh, discussion. No? We were uh, we were able to to uh, discuss and talk about the intersection. So from the word intersection, no? from our second quarter, uh, we have what we call as parallel parallel lines, correct? And we have intersected lines. So from the parallel uh, from the parallel lines, we know that. Those are the lines that are parallel together, correct? But for those intersected lines, no, those are the lines which has the intersection or the point that they meet, no? From the word that they meet. So, this two set has, no, has an intersection. Did you notice if there are common terms or common elements that they share together that are the same, no? Could you see? Uh, as you will notice, I already uh, turned some numbers as red. No? We have 5. No? But is it only 5? No. So it is also 6. So instead of having 5, because I, I, I did uh, write this one so that I could test you out. So the intersection, when we say intersection, that is the elements no? that they share together that are, that are common. So the, the so the intersection of A or uh, and B are the elements five and six. All right, these are the elements that they share together. Po. This is the intersection. Okay, po. All right. So in conclusion, if you have set A in your left side, they share something that are similar together in that is 5 and 6. Okay po? And this is the 2. And this is the 4. Alright po? Yes. So this is for the intersection. Alright. So next, how about Sir Jai? How about what is the intersection of the set A and set C? Can you see any something in, uh, in something in similar with the two sets? You see something similar to with the two sets? Of course not. No? Because in set A, we only have 2, 5, 6. But in your set C, you only have 1 and 3. Correct? So therefore, there is no intersection at all. There are no elements that could be seen in the intersection. So therefore, no, we could simply say that this set should not be in this kind of figure. They cannot be this figure. They can't be this kind of figure because they don't share. They don't share something that are common to each other, correct? So, therefore, we just simply draw the sets A and C as this part. No, they are separated to each other because they don't share common elements. Pa. All right? Are we clear? All right. So, that is for the A intersection. C. All right. So, how about this one? How about for... B intersection C. Alright, so we know that we have we have all right we have four, five, and six. And for the set C we have one and three. Do they share something that are common to each other? Hmm? They what? They what? They do not share of course. Obviously, we could see that they don't share each other, uh, they don't share anything else, no? Because they don't have. So, therefore, the elements that could be found inside the two sets or the intersection of that one is zero or there is no such elements. If there is no elements inside a set, no? this is what we call as null set. N-U-L-L-S-E-T. Null set. Okay po? 
Okay. So, we were able to identify and to uh, uh, analyze what is an intersection, right? So, I will be uh, I will be drawing some set. For example, this is set A and this is set B, all right? So, these are two sets. If they do share, for example, if they do share something that are common to each other, probably we could combine the two circle, right? So they they share something, for example, right? they share something. That's why they are intersecting to each other or the other circle overlap the uh, other circle as well, right? or, or the other set. But if they don't share something that are common to each other, so therefore, they should be separated okay all right so how about sir if you will be asking us what is the intersection for example ha, what is the intersection of this first given uh, of course you will be telling the value of the intersection only that one for example five okay, po? five only but what if what is the intersection of a and b uh, for this second given of course, you don't have or zero. Okay, pa? All right. So let's try to relate this intersection in union in the probability world. All right. So if I will be asking you, okay. So if I will be asking you, what would be the probability in getting the sets A again? What is the probability? Of getting the sets A and B. What do you think? Do you think of something? Hmm. Oh, what are the elements once again that we have? We have what? We have. Alright, so we have 5 and 6. So therefore, okay, so therefore we know that from these elements, okay, well, from these elements, we have two numbers that are common to each other. But we're going to get the probability of the intersection of A and B. Okay po. The probability of the intersection of the intersection of A and B. Again, we call this sign as end. And B, no? They do share 5 and 6. 5 and 6. I just put the red color so that uh, you will identify what, which is which. So therefore, how many sets are there in the intersection of the A and B? How many? There are there are two elements. And what are those elements? We have 5 and 6. So therefore, we have 2 out of 6. What is 6? That is our sample space. We were able to get the two elements out of six elements, correct? There are two elements that are given in the intersection of the two sets. So therefore, the probability of, uh, of getting the intersection of A and B is 2 over 6. Or, in lowest term, that is 1 third. And what is... What is the probability of one third or the percentage of one third? It is 33.33%. Okay, so in the in the second given, the two sets that are the intersection, we have B intersection C. Right? Okay. So that is B intersection C. Again. A intersection C and B intersection C. Okay, po. A intersection C and B intersection C. There are there any elements inside the set? There are none. So there is no chances of getting the intersection of the two sets. Correct? If you're going to get the probability of the intersection of A and C. It is zero chances. Okay po? Zero chances. 
So therefore, we could just simply tell that the probability of the intersection of A and C is zero chances. As well as for the probability of, of B intersection C. Okay, so there is zero chances. Now, uh, if you have such probab uh if there is a chance no if there is a chance for you to get a value of the probability of something or a probability of a set uh you were able to uh, get the value but what if for example it doesn't have any value or any intersection what do we call to such intersection no what do we call to such intersection that doesn't have any probability or zero chances at all all right so this is what we called as mutually exclusive events okay, well, these are the events that are mutually exclusive that they can happen at the same time so when we say for example we we are going to toss a coin how many how many uh possible no possible outcome that you might get in one toss there are two possible outcome that might happen might happen huh? might happen there are two possible outcome that might happen and those are heads and tails correct okay but my question is no if this is a coin my question is if you toss a coin and if you get the answer how many answer would you get at that moment you only have one one event only correct you cannot have same heads and tails at the same time that is that that are showing together at the same time correct so you only have one time no same goes by with the die no when you roll a die we have six sample space we have one two three four five six but no but we cannot have the outcome of two and four at the same time right because there there will be only one face that will show up in every role correct right okay so next no uh i would uh, i would like you to instill in this mind that we have what we call as again uh, again if the intersection doesn't have any chances or the probability is zero this is what we call as mutually exclusive events or let's say those are MEE -E. again MEE -E. okay, all right so I want you to install this next slide no this is what we called as addition rule a while ago we deal with the intersection but for this addition rule this is uh, where we uh, deal in union already okay, po. a while ago if you have two sets that are again, sorry if we have two sets that intersects with each other we could see that there is an intersection right okay so if this is an intersection or if you can see that this is an intersection i'm going to ask you what is the union of the two intersection i uh, two intersection rather what is the two uh what is the union what is the union of these two sets because we have set a and set b correct what is the union of these two sets? Okay, this is my tip. If we are just getting, no, if we are just simply getting uh, the intersection, we just only get this middle. Okay, po? whatever the values of the middle. Okay, so let's uh, let's just say you have, for example, uh, sige po, I will not be erasing this one. Uh, let's just say this is the set. You have one, two, three, four, five. What are the sets of set A? This is your set A and set B. What are the sets of set A? We have one, two, and three. This is for the set A, correct? This is for the set A. What is for the set B? What are the elements of set B? Uh, what is the cell elements of set B? The elements of set B is three, four and five correct mm. that is the elements of set b but what is the intersection of set a and b 
the intersection of it is 3. We only have 3. Okay po, if I will be asking like, what is the intersection of set A and B? It is only 3. Okay po? Okay. But, what is a union? Again, when we say union, it deals with the unity or the um, uh, unity of two sets po. Or the combination of two sets or what we could see that they unite to each other po. Okay? So, if we, if we are going to ask, you know, because a while ago we are in the intersection, if I will be asking you what is the uh, uh, what is the union of set A and set B? Okay po, again, what is the union? Again, you have U for union. What is the union of set A and set B? The union, the union of set A and set B are, what are the elements? We have 1, 2, 3, Okay po, we have, uh, we have this one. We have 1, 2, 3. Next, for set, uh, what's the union of set A and B? Uh, should we count the 3 as well? No, we should not count the 3 as well in that part. Because they will be counted as 1. Next, 4 and 5. These are the sets that you could found in set A and set B. There, 4 and 5. Okay, so how is that one, sir? So if you will try to imagine, no? again, let's go back here. No? Let's go back here. If we have these two sets, A and B, in intersection, for example, A intersection B, we are just getting the middle one. Okay, po? the middle one. Then we don't mind already whatever the, the value on the outer part. So, if we're going to relate this one into this one, into this set, no? The intersection is 3. But if we're going to get the union of A, union B, or A or B, no? We are going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what would be the visualization of the... Uh, uh, set A and B. So if we have, uh, let's redraw it. No? So if we have this set, for example, this set. Okay. So this is our. Okay. I'm sorry. This is not that kind of good. So this is. Let's just say. Okay. So, let's just say that you have these two circles okay, po, that are, uh, that are intersect, uh, intersecting to each other. So, this is, let's just say 5. This is, so, uh, uh, let's just say 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, in intersection, the A intersection B, the intersection of that one, the element, is only 5. But, if we say union, the element of the union of A or B is, again, or, or, because, you know, it is smiling face. The elements are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay po? Even though Set A contains 3, 4, 5, and set B contains 5, 6, 7. We, we should not count the f number 5 twice. No, we should count that one as 1. Now, how do we prove that it is only 1? Now, we could draw this kind of graph this way. Alright. So, if we know that it is the intersection at the first place, in union, we are getting all inside the A and B. So, we are going to get the values inside the A and B. So, all of them. So, it will be formed just like this. Okay po? All. So, in the, the intersection got dismissed po. Okay po? Okay. Alright. So, uh, let us have this as this example already. So, we know already what are the union. In 
formula, okay, in formula we have a, the probability of A or B or the probability of A union B. Okay po. Now, uh, uh, we also have, we also have this, uh, the formulation wherein it is equals o, uh, it, it, it is equals to probability of A plus probability of B. Okay po. Minus the intersection of it. Okay po. Now, from the intersection, if you will notice, no? Um, it was highlighted because if uh if the if the what the old one if the if the intersection is is zero that is what we called as um that is what we called as mutually exclusive events okay, so if it is zero ha huh? now it will only fall it will only fall as probability of A and probability of B. Alright. Uh, okay. So, let's have this one. Okay. I have an example. Uh, let's, let's deal with an example a while ago. So, we have the two circles a while ago, right? So, if you will notice, like, if this is A and B, and we have 1, 2, then 3, and 4 and 5, we know that 3, no? The 3 is the intersection. And if we are getting the union of these two sets, you will add, because you have value in your intersection, correct? You have 3. So therefore, the probability of your A, what is your A? What is your A? What's the elements of your A? That is 1, 2, 3. Okay po? 1, 2, 3. In your set B, is 3, 4, 5. Now, if we have the sample space of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no? What, what are the elements of your sample, uh, what are the elements of your set A? You have 1, 2, 3. How many elements do you have out of 6 sample space? You have 3, correct? So, therefore, the probability of your A is 3 out of 6 or 4, 1 half. Okay po? Gets? So, same goes by for the um, for the B. Now, Sir Jai, uh, are you telling that if they are both 3 over 6, for example, ha, you're telling that we need 3 over 6. This is 3 over 6, ha? Let's, let's just put in there. Plus, how about for uh, probability of B? Hmm. What is the probability of B? You have 3, 4, 5. Correct? 3, 4, 5. And when we have the probability of B, we know that there are 3 elements. So it is also 3 over 6. Alright, so let's try to write it down as 3 over 6. We know that 3 over 6 plus 3 over 6, what's the value? What is the value? We know that it, it is 6 over 6. Oh, how is that one? What are the numbers that was uh, written in set A and B? We only wrote it down. Uh, we only write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct? How is the number 6? Is it true that it is 6 over 6? We know that it is 6 over or uh, 6 over 6, it is 1. So, if we're going to add the 6, it, it will be just like this. Uh, in getting uh, 3 over 6 plus 3 over 6, that is for probability A and probability uh, B. So, are you telling that, uh, that you need to add more 1 over 6 just for the sake of the sample set for it to become 6? The number 6. Are you going to add it? Because if you're going to add it, it will become 7 over 6, right? And please take note, in probability, in terms of chances, there's only, the probability only lies from 0, okay, from 0 to 1. Why is it 1? From 100%. Because if you're going to deal in probability, 
we could simply tell like for example no uh, 10% 5% 100% but we cannot go further beyond one we can just simply it's it is 110% no we if you just tell 100% eh, you know that it is perfectly that it will happen correct the, the, there is no like times two that it will happen no no and there is no negative uh percentage sign that in terms of probability no of chances that you might tell so therefore no so therefore the probability should only lies 0 to 1 or 0 to 100 percent okay po? so this 7 over 6 is way beyond our expectation if we're just going to add them that is why we have the subtraction subtraction of what the intersection that's the time that we are going to subtract the intersection and what what's the intersection that is three that is the element of what element of the intersection of a and b correct now if we're going to get the probability of the intersection of a and b how many elements do you have no in the sample space you only have one correct the, prob the probability of the intersection of a and b you only have one over what six because your sample space is six now from the formula three over six plus three over six that is six over six but you need to subtract one over six okay so we know what six over six minus one over six and that is what's the final answer five over six right so this is the final answer that is the probability all right so let's try to double check if five over six is correct oh no all right so what is uh, what are the elements that you could found in the union of a and b again a i uh, a and b a or b okay what are the elements the elements are one two three four five correct are they five are they five over six sample space correct they are correct po. okay po. they are incorrect lining all right so uh just like here okay from the next example we have the six sample space and we have the sets a and b okay po. do they have common thing they don't share anything, correct? So therefore, we could simply tell that the two sets, no, the intersection of the two sets are MEE. Or the set A and B is MEE. Because the probability of the intersection is zero. There is no chances of getting the intersection with these two sets. Okay? Alright? Uh, this is this is another uh, this is an example of MEE. All right. So next slide. So from the next slides, we have set A and set C. One, two, three, and three, four, five. All right. Can you see any intersection if you're going to tell A and C again? A and C, or you could say A intersection of C. What is the intersection between the two sets? We know that it is 3. And the probability of the intersection of A and C is 1 over 6. There. Do they have intersection? Yes, do they, ha they have intersection. Therefore, the, the intersection of A and C is not MEE. Okay po? They are not MEE. Okay? They are not MEE. Next slide. Okay, so we have A and C still. That is the one that I am showing you. And I would like you to refer with the sample set. Ha, that's why it becomes 1 and 6. You only have one number out of 6 possible results if you're going to throw a die. Okay, pa? Alright, so let's try the next example. The sets B and C. Okay, pa? So if you're going to tell... B and C. What are the elements of B and C? Are B 
intersection C. The intersection of set B and C is phi. Okay po? So, if you're going to get the probability of the intersection of the two sets, no, or the sets B and C, no, the probability is 1 over 6. Because we know that you only have one number out of 6 possible outcomes. Po. And we could tell that this intersection or the intersection of set B and C is not MEE or not mutually exclusive events. Po. Okay? Alright, so there is a short shortcut formula. Well, it's not really shortcut, but if you will analyze, no, if you have the, if you have the formula of, uh, union of two sets, for example, A and B, no, if you have probability of A plus probability of B, and you are going to minus the intersection, okay, po, the intersection of A and B, if there is uh, if there is no intersection at all, this is what we call as MEE. So therefore your probability of intersection is zero. So just simple as just simply write the probability of A and B. So therefore, for example, if I'm going to ask you what's the union of A and B, if the set A contains one, two, and three, and your B is uh, 4, 5, and 6. The union of A, union B, or A or B, the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay po? Gets po? Alright. So, for this non, not MEE, okay po? If you're just going to deal once again for the union, 1, 2, 3, or five, even though there is an intersection, okay po, again, you will just still count them all. Okay po? I am sorry. Yes. For example, this the one, ha? Huh? Just going to erase something so that it will not be hard for you. Mm, here. Yeah. This is correct. This is still the union of A or B. Okay po? Because we, we still count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay po? Gets. So in this kind of not MEE or this Venn diagram, you'll just subtract the value of your intersection if it's not MEE. But if it's MEE, so therefore you just subtract it by 0 and obviously you'll just get this squared formula. Or the probability of A plus probability of B. Only that one, alright? Okay, so for the last example, let's have this one. For the sample space of the, a die, for example, still now. So we have the set A and B. Set A and set B. So from your set A, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And from your set B, you have 3, 4, 5. Okay, so if you're going to get in the intersection of A or B, or the probability. What would be the probability of the intersection of A or B? Again, the formula of that probability in terms of union is the probability of A plus probability of B minus the intersection. At first step, you're going to get the probability of A. What are the elements of A? You have... Elements of A are, we have 1, I'm sorry if it's not, it seems like 7. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? And with that one, if you're going to get the probability of that one, the probability of A, it is 4 out of 6 numbers or 6 sample space. That's why the probability is 4 over 6 or 2 over 3. Okay pa? Gets? Alright. So, what is next? What is the probability of the set B? Uh, what are the set elements of B? The elements of B are 3, 4, 5. 
T45. And what is the probability of B? Because we need this one in our formula, correct? So the probability we have three numbers out of six sample space. We have three, four, five, correct? Alright, so that's why we have three over six, or we could just simply write it down as one over two or one half, correct? Alright, so we have the two sets. We have the A and the set B. Okay po. So we were able to get the probability of A and B. And that is 2 over 3 and 1 half. Okay, so let's deal with the formula of getting the union of these two sets. So that is, what is the formula? The formula is the probability of A plus probability of B minus the intersection. Again, what is the intersection? The intersection of these two sets are 3 and 4. Let's try to deal with the elements of the intersection. What is the intersection of B? Ah, A and B. What are the elements? The elements are 3 and 4. But the question is, what is the probability of A and B? The probability we have 2 numbers out of 6. So the probability of that one is 2 over 6. Po. Okay, po. please remember uh, 2 over 6 or 1 over 3. Let's remember 2 over 6. Okay, so we are going to subtract 2 over 6 to your uh, two probabilities, which is probability A and probability B. Okay, Alright, so with that case, we know that the probability A is 4 over 6 and for the probability B that is 3 over 6. And we need to subtract the 2 over 6 so that it will be fit. Because if we are going to get 4 over 6 plus 3 over 6, we know it is 7 over 6. Again, that is beyond 100%. Okay? That is 1 and 1, 6. And it can't be, uh, it can't happen po. Okay po? From, from this part, we should subtract the intersection and that would lead to 5 over 6. Gets po? Okay. So I have here the last, uh, the last set. Okay po? So what if we have the set C? Yeah. So we have the set C. If we are going to get the probability of, all right, here. All right. So if we are getting the probability of uh, set B, no, I'm sorry, it's different side. All right. So what if we are going to get the probability of Set B and set C. A probability of the union. And what is the probability of the union of set B or set C? Okay po, how is that one? For example, oh, this is set B ha. This is B and this is C. Typo. Okay. Alright, so first is what is set B? 3, 4, 5. What is set C? Only 6, correct. So, what's the probability of set B? We know it is 3 elements out of 6 sample set. Correct? So, you have 3 over 6. How about for your set C? You only have 1. The question is, do they share something in common? They don't share something in common. Alright? So, that's why uh, the circle are separate, are separate to each other. Okay po? And the probability of this set C is 1 over 6 because you only have one element out of 6 sample space. Okay? Alright, so knowing that you already know what is the probability of set B and set C. The probability of set B is 3 over 6. And we are going to add that 1 to the probability of C and that is 1 over 6. Now, we know that they don't share, in, uh, they don't share elements that are common to each other. Therefore, they are M-E-E. -E. Again, they are M-E-E. -E. They are mutually exclusive events. So therefore, automatically, the intersection is zero because you can see that the circle, no, the circles are separated to each other. Okay, but therefore, you'll just add the two probabilities. Okay, and if we're going to add that one, that would lead to 4 over 6 or simplify terms. No, that is... 2 over 3. Okay po? Or if you want to get the percentage of that one, that would lead 
66.66% or 66.67% if we're rounding off. Okay po? Are we clear? Alright, so I hope that you learned something for today's video. And if you have some questions, don't leave to us. Uh, don't hesitate yourself to leave a comment below in our video and to like the video if you like the video. And see you on the next uh, topic po, that we are going to discuss. Alright, so once again, thank you once again, Grayton. And goodbye and God bless.